Sodium. It's an amazing way to boost FPS in Minecraft. In this video, we're going to show you exactly how to get it in Minecraft 1.21.2. Let's get started. First things first, go to the second link in the description down below. It will take you here. This is our in-depth text guide on getting sodium, which is great if you prefer to go through things in a text format, but we're going to go over everything in this video as well. On this page, go ahead and click on the download sodium button to be taken to sodium's official download page on Modern. Once you're here, you want to go ahead and click on versions and you want to find the 1.21.2 fabric version. Sodium is now on Neoforge as well, which is amazing, but in this video we're going to be showing you how to get it with Fabric because that's way more popular than Neoforge and has way more other mod compatibility because of that. So, as you can see here we have the Fabric version for 1.21.2. We can compare that it's Fabric here as well, and then click the green download button on the right hand side. It will then go ahead and need to most likely keep or save Sodium. It's 100% safe to do that, so let's go ahead and click save here. While Sodium is downloading, have a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz says SGH to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, or mod packs to your server and truly customize your server any way that you want. On top of that, there's expert live chat support there to help you out along the way. So stop struggling to host a Minecraft server and start your Minecraft server the simple way at the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash SGH. Nevertheless, we now have Sodium downloaded. We'll also need to download Fabric. As I mentioned, we're downloading the Fabric version of Sodium. So in the description down below, we have a link to hear. This is our in-depth text guide on Fabric. We also have an in-depth video guide up here at the top. We're going to be going over most of this in this video, but just in case, this is here to help you out if you run into any specific or more weird issues. Let's go ahead and click on Download Fabric to go to Fabric's official download page. We're going to go ahead and click on this Download Universal Jar. The reason we're downloading that is it'll help you run servers and other Minecraft stuff in the future if we use the jar now. So we're going to go ahead and download the Universal Jar there, and we can go ahead and click Save, and the file will save right like so, meaning to keep or save it, like I said, 100% safe to do that. Now we can minimize our browser and move these to our desktop. So we're going to go into downloads here. We have Fabric and Sodium. We're going to drag and drop both of these to our desktop right like so. And we're going to be getting started off with Fabric. To do that, right click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But what if you don't have Java here? Or what if you do and it doesn't work? Well, in that case, you want to go ahead and download Java 21. In the description down below, there's a link to this, which is our in-depth text guide on getting Java 21. It covers everything you need to know to download and install Java 21 for Minecraft. Java 21 is required as a Minecraft 1.21, by the way, so you may have an older version of Java, and that's why it won't work if you do have it. But otherwise, download Java 21 here, then run the jar fix. What the jar fix is going to do is take all the jar files on your computer, like Fabric, and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. And now we can go ahead and open up the Fabric installer. Right click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK, and it will go ahead and open up the Fabric installer here. All you've got to do is select the 1.21.2 version, and then make sure Create Profile is checked, and then click Install. The only reason this wouldn't work is if Minecraft or the Minecraft Launcher are open. Make sure both of those are closed, and you want to make sure that you've played Minecraft 1.21.2 before. Just open it up to the main menu. What that's going to do is download the files that Fabric needs in order to install itself into Minecraft, and that's why you need to make sure you've ran Minecraft 1.21.2 1.21.2 before installing Fabric. We can click OK and close out of the Fabric installer. The hard part's done. The easy part is actually installing Sodium once you get Fabric. To do that, open up the Minecraft Launcher, and then in the Minecraft Launcher, we want to go ahead and make sure we click on Installations up here at the top. Then, once you've clicked on Installations, you want to make sure that Modded is checked. If Modded's not checked, this isn't going to work, so you want to make sure Modded is checked here, and then you'll have this Fabric Loader 1.21.2 profile. If for whatever reason you don't, you can go ahead and click a new installation here, and then you can name this anything you want. I'm going to name it Simple Game Hosting. Dot com because that is the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends. And then I'm going to go ahead and click this versions drop down box. Then we want to select release fabric loader 1.21.2 right here. Release fabric loader 1.21.2 and that is selected. Then we can go ahead and click create in the bottom right. And now we have this new simplegamehosting.com profile that most importantly is fabric loader. How do we install Sodium from here? Well, just hover over your Fabric Loader installation, either one you created or the one that's there by default, and click on the folder icon. That will then open up your Minecraft folder. In here, you should have a mods folder, but if you don't, like I don't have a mods folder, no worries, just right click, create a new folder, and title it Mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Open up your mods folder and drag and drop Sodium into it, and there you go, it's installed. It's that quick and easy to get Sodium. Now just go back to the Minecraft launcher and play Minecraft using your Fabric installation, and then once you do that, Minecraft will open and Sodium will be installed. While Minecraft's opening, I do want to mention that if you want to take things up a notch, we do have Notify. Notify is our mod pack and it 
tries to emulate Optifine's features as quickly as possible after a new version comes out. But in doing that, we use sodium and we actually add extras and things like that on top of sodium to make it super, super efficient. So if you want the best FPS possible, I recommend Notifying because it adds even more beyond sodium to optimize your FPS while also unlocking shaders and a lot of other stuff. You can get it on Curse Wards and Modernth. Both of those are in the description below. But as we can see here, Minecraft is now open. We can go into Options, Video Settings, and there it is. Here is sodium. Like I said, Notifying adds a lot a lot more extra features to this, a lot more extra settings, all of that. But by default, this is what Sodium looks like. You have your performance, your quality, and your general settings that you can play with and optimize to get things better. There's also some stuff just happening behind the scenes that you can't even change because it just makes Minecraft perform better. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. But you don't have Sodium in Minecraft 1.21.2. We'll see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.